on the day of uh, um, when we know the election results and uh, we have a new government. Um, I think um, it would be great to cool our, he cool our heads by talking about um, a book that I'm reading and thoroughly enjoying um, called All the Beauty in the World um, by Patrick Brindley. And I've got a photo here. And um, the subtitle is A Museum, a Museum's, a Museum Guards Adventures in Life, Loss and Art. So I want to take you into the world of art. Um, this is a man who, it's a memoir, uh, as it says. Um, it's a memoir by someone who became a guard at the Metropolitan uh, Museum of um, Art in, um, in New York. And um, a very educated man with uh, a, a, an arts background um, who, when his brother fell ill and died, um, after his brother died, um, he was working at the New Yorker, um, but he 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 had a he felt the death of his brother so keenly that uh, he found it difficult to continue in the um, in the world of of pressure and uh, success and uh, conventional striving. Uh, I think he lost his way a little. And uh, his choice was to become a guard at the Metropolitan Museum, um, where he stayed for a decade. And uh, he's a wonderful recounter. Uh, he's very, very sensitive about the artwork, um, the statue, all the artwork. And he tells you a lot about not only the life of a guard, but what, what is on the walls, what are on the plinths, their history and how he attaches to them, what he feels about them. And, um, and um, it's a very unusual book, uh, but he's a lovely sense of, and he's a lovely sensibility and um, a joy to uh, follow his journey um, through the art, uh, eventually back out into the world. And um, if you don't want to be thinking about politics anymore for a bit, it's a thoroughly good alternative. So that is all the beauty in the world. Lovely title. Have a good weekend.